I would have won based on the facts, regardless of anything. Stay quiet, man. I can buy a Range Rover now and nothing is in my account. I can go rent a house in somewhere secluded and say it's my house. Okay, guys, let's talk about the Star Boys of BB Ninja interview on Bounce Radio. It was dope. I laughed a lot. So they interviewed the ladies and the guys. Let me tell you like one major difference or maybe two major differences I noticed between the ladies and the guys. The guys were able to like jab or throw jabs at each other and nobody took it personal. But I mean, it's kind of normal for guys, right? Somehow, somehow guys just know how to crack jokes with each other and there's no bad energy or bad blood. I love that a lot. I also like that they were able to get Ibuka to tell us some things happening in his personal life because I mean, Ibuka has really grown from this whole BB Ninja journey. So yeah, we found out about Ibuka. It was Ozo, it was Prince, Lakon, Ferd, Liu, Elozunam, Toby, and Soma. This interview had two parts, one and two, right? Guys, the first part of the interview, Lakon was talking too much. Like, so, it was so like... President of Club Day. President. Let me ask you oh, a okay, question. So wait, 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 wait. And I want to ask you, Toby and Liu. Cause him, Toby, and Leo. <laughs> I'm not going to say shit. You heard? Okay, okay, okay. Bro, so first things, first things. Wait, wait, I need to clear collect. something. Oh. No, 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 chill. You don't make my drink <laughs> one. No. Bro, I can't even lie to you. He was talking a lot. Like, when it's not even his time to talk, he was just, as in, I think he was the alcohol. I'm going to blame it on the alcohol. But anyway, let's get right into the interview. So, how's everyone doing? Elo's like, see, I'm making a shitload of money. You get me? Prince is morphing into everything he ever dreamed of or wanted to do. Toby, of course, you know, Toby's married. He has a child right now. Big ups to him. Even though everybody was saying, oh, you know what? They're good. They thank God. They're happy. I liked how Soma said, see, I agree. Everyone is happy here, but he can't even lie. He's not where he wants to be. He's hoping for more things. And I think that reality is good here yeah, because, I mean, we can all form like we're all happy and doing the best. But in real life, say your truth. Don't be pressured by everybody saying, oh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. If, if you need blessing, when hold on, man. Soma's own season was the one I did not watch. But I found out on the interview that... Soma was actually like evicted first. You guys, if you watch, tell me how was the personality? Did you like it? What's the energy here? Yeah? And Ibuka finally told us life right now, what it looks like. I think I'm where he is. And I know that my sound. <laughs> you can't be where I am. Hold up, hold up. I'm literally where he is, where I'm happy. But I'm not where I, I think I should be. He kind of is hopeful for more in his life, you know, because I mean, he's happy, but I mean, he obviously is looking for more. Let's now get into the nitty gritty. Some things, again, you know, I agree with. Some things I do not agree with. We'll discuss that right now. Before I start, you know, the drill. Oh, I shouldn't say anything. Like, you guys know now. Subscribe to my channel now. Kid is really a thumbs up now. Okay, I know you're doing. Let's start. So, if they were not in their seasons, where which season would they have been? Leo is the one that was interesting. Leo said that like, he cannot lie, man. He would have been in messy season because messy season gave a lot of entertainment value. There was no dull moments, and I'm just like, that's so true. Because according to Leo, Double Wahala housemate felt like Double Wahala was like this the best season until Pepe Dem came and he cannot lie there was always something about that season I totally agree that's why Messi had to win because the energy the drama between Messi and Tatcha we can't even lie it was a lot back to back so I, I kind of agree what do you think let's even throw this ball outside from Seagull Bay yeah to shine your eye which one has been your best season so far tell me in the comment section my darling so let's talk about the sheeps right so they ask is sheep good for you for the show it was like of course it does work for you because majority of the people that watch the show are women and everybody loves love one two women really love love so that's why like once um people start to you know cling together people are excited already but however it's not a guarantee that it would help you win the show, but definitely it will help you stay longer. I totally agree. Will it help you win the show? I mean, once you're in a ship and then your ship is dramatic or strong or interesting, it will push you to that big point. I mean, look at Messi. Because they talk about Messi, and I want to ask you as well. They ask about Messi and Miracle, yeah, the two winners. And they ask, would they have won with or without the ship? Elozenam feels like they would have won regardless. Nah, man. The ship helped Miracle a lot. It's just that 
after the sheep, he now started to show himself. Even messy. After the sheep, we started to see her interesting, fun, crazy, everything. Yeah, but I feel like if there was no sheep at all, it would have been a different dynamic. But what do you think? Do you think she, like with or without the sheep, will Messi and Miracle still have won? Tell me why in the comment section, my darling. So Fraud said, see, the truth is that you really don't like plan to fall into a sheep or like fall in love in the house. You get me? So if sheep works or not, he said, the truth is people know when love is real. And so it grows on them and it allows them to see your true character. Let's cast our mind back to Freud in the house and like how he was diehard with Esther. What do you think? Do you see the originality there? Was it real to you? Because I don't know. Me, I mean, maybe because of my own personality naturally. If I'm in love, my brain, they walk. It has to walk so that I know when to run away, when to move. So when I see somebody who's acting like you, I'm just like, man, shifts may not beg. Or use your brain and think. So maybe that's why all this kind of weird love, I don't send it. But tell me, do you think love with Esther was real? Talk to me in the comment section, my darling. Next one, would fraud have stayed longer in the house if he wasn't that vulnerable? Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, he would have stayed longer in the house. I mean, the vulnerability was even annoying to me, but his strong character, his presence, the fact that fraud would not allow like anybody to belittle him. If he thinks is this, is this, you know, I think he would have stayed longer in all sincerity. But Elo's when I'm saying differently. Elo was like seeing the thing that the vulnerability was why fraud stayed longer in the house because fraud naturally is annoying. But because he was vulnerable, that humanized him a lot and made people to see the good part of him. Do you agree? Please talk to me in the comment section, my Because me, I just feel like the fact that he was always nominated for eviction, he was always close to leaving and did not leave. You get me? That whole like strike of faith in his journey just made it look like, okay, you know what? Let's save this guy, Joe. It wasn't to me. But what do you think? Talk to me in the comment section, my darling. Next, they moved to would Toby have won the show? If he were, he did not have his whole thing with Cece. And did they call win because of Erica? Would Toby have won? Oh, that's a deep one though. You know? Leko said, but he won still, yeah? And he also thinks he won because of Erica. He thinks he won because he's Leko. Facts is facts. Facts don't really care about your feelings. I would have won based on the facts, regardless of anything. Stay quiet. Stay quiet. Stay quiet. Stay quiet. <laughs> but I won. I to be honest, won. that's kind of true. I also think Lico won because it's Lico too. Because from the first day that he got into the house, it felt like it felt like sympathy based on his look. And then the moment Lico just spoke, oh, I kind of forget the, the classic when he was like schooling. I think um Tolani or maybe I think something maybe um continent or something like that. But like when we heard that he was smart, we're like boom, this is the guy. I think he would have won regardless. You get me? Front says like, see, he feels like all the activities that you do in the uh, house add up and that's very true toby feels like he would have won if he did not have his thing with cc if they were just friends he thinks he would have won well now somana comes to break it down for us Somana's like see he was the underdog he came in as an underdog so when, when people saw that oh this girl is like fucking with this guy's feelings they, they had like so um, the sentiments empathy were different on him. basically exactly yeah. sentiments were different Toby, people expecting Toby to be Omar, do this one with this babe, do this one with this babe. But you can't say, why are you doing okay. with this baby? Okay, okay, What's okay, the okay, problem? Okay, I need to clear collect. something. <laughs> Nobody was fucking with anybody's feelings. Somebody, no, 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 no chill. You don't make my drink pour no. no. I totally agree, man. Yeah, he liked her, but she didn't like him. It's not bad not to like somebody. You get like... <laughs> We're friends, I like to have my friend, but when you start to chike me, it's a different conversation. And I might not like you to kiss you or date you or get involved. So I kind of totally saw it, you know, sincerity, but and I'm happy Lico is you know clearing the air as well. Let's talk about the pairing for double wahala. Like, you knew double wahala they were paired from like the first time, yeah. Do you think it worked? I think we enjoyed the pairing, but Leo is like it did not work for them in the house because it kind of felt like they kind of had the pressure to now be close to their pairs. It wasn't necessary, you get me? And people liked them uh, with the pair. When you now later broke them off, it wasn't like what are you guys really doing? But I kind of enjoyed it. I can't lie. I think the pairing gave the house 
a flavor that no other house has gotten so far but what do you think please talk about it in the comment section my darling now the one that i just found very interesting was pressure so they asked which pressure is more yeah is it the pressure of winning like the winner's pressure or the pressure of leaving the house first and so my open um, our minds to a lot of things leaving early there's a lot of pressure on you because then now you want to say you want to tell people that okay i left early but there's i have, yeah, I have we're wrong. yes you guys were wrong for taking me out i have content i have um i have value to bring and it's crazy so, so that's what's driving you that's what's driving me i felt like if i had survived that first eviction if run up, I yeah, run yeah, up. you could have one. You, you get I actually me. agree. You get okay, me. can I talk? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so no, like, see, first of all, he had a dope personality. He feels like because he was Seagull B and the set before his set was 11 years ago, we, the viewers, were not ready for the energy he was bringing, right? And so when he had to leave the house in two weeks he thought it was a prank he was like what's up so when he left he kind of just wanted to prove to the world that you guys made a mistake for not voting me in fact so fast when he was outside he kept on looking like ah, uh -uh, waiting gone if he say if he do pass if he like he had so much to give but like you know the fact that he left the house early he could not give it and so he always has that pressure to outdo to prove that must be very hard pressure and i must big up so much because I mean, I think Soma, Uriel, B Solar, I don't know who again from their set to having people that have really been seen in like in the entertainment industry, you, you get me, since they left the house. So yeah, big up Soma. You know, I, I feel like for leaving the house, it's just fate and your luck. In Igbo, they call it Akalaka. You get me? Like, it's just your luck, really, because I would like to say, oh, guys, let's give them time. Let's not use the first week to vote or to decide who we want to stay or who want to leave. But then again, is it Nigeria? You gotta go there and show yourself from day one, yeah? Anyways, let's move to the next one. Is BB Nigeria more beneficial for the women? People were saying different things. I think this conversation, they asked the ladies to, and it wasn't good to hear the guy's perspective to it. I want to talk about the first one that Fraud said. Fraud said, see, it's easier for women to get favors because of, I mean, they look beautiful and thing, yeah, and a lot of times, a lot of women are not really, like, judged based on merit. Some women are judged based on merit, oh, but some, a lot of times, there are a lot of uh, factors that play into you just picking a woman. I believe that we're not talking about this favor from women to women. Mm -hmm. It's actually from guys outside yep. to women position. That's why we talk about this survival and the fact that they're doing well. You think about it. They look at these ladies every day. They watch them, those that have the time. So why? Those that don't watch hear about it. They look at pictures. They see the curve. They see the... They fantasize and then they get to that point where they want to play lead. They want to like try and be friends with this person. Before you know it, they start giving out incentives mm. and it starts to favor this person. But for a man, it's way, way difficult. The other gender, our opposite gender, the females, do not support us the way our own gender supports the females. <laughs> so are you saying it? But also Ozom, Joe, I think Ozo and Pere are the two male housemates that women have just like shower the old love on you get me yeah man it was like see he got a lot of favors he cannot lie from fans as sheep and even individual and a lot of them were women however on a large scale and i want you guys to put your mouth in the matter here yeah? on a large scale it just takes one guy hey one you get me yeah one man to do what what a group of women would do if a guy wants you to, wants a particular housemate to chill with him boom the guy can just come and drop money once he drops money like this what all the fan base have been saving the guy drops it at once yeah that's why you see that women kind of like buy, buy cars and things leo came from another angle leo was like see do not believe everything you're seeing on social media and i think that we've gotten to the age where we should just agree that people lie online and if somebody who is there is telling you, maybe we should listen. He was like, see. Don't believe everything you see on social media. Bam! Period. What works better is what you see. So you don't know exactly what is going on behind the scene. Yeah. I can buy a Range Rover now and nothing is in my account. I can go rent a house in somewhere secluded and say it's my house. I can say that two million people... Have you witnessed that without this, calling... I feel like this boy is speaking out of experience. Yeah. Two million people donated for me to buy this, but... In, in reality, 
Nobody donated. It was one person that dropped the money. That was also so when you see all this gist online about people, social media, don't believe everything you see. You get me? Momo told me now, give us one kind of gist to... That way, his own set shot when he left the house. You know all this um, court service that people were going to visit people, yeah? He didn't go, but the gist he was hearing was that they would give all the guys that came to visit $5,000 to share and they would take the ladies like separately and be giving the ladies each or in, like each lady do 5k dollars for one person 10k dollars for one person you get me so like ladies get favors and, and then again they talk about the whole you know there are more things to sell on ladies you know like hair bag different things yeah man what do you think is it been Nigeria really like good for i mean do you know how i mean see i feel like eh, you are going to the platform to sell yourself as a guy or as a girl just sell yourself that's what I feel. Because look at Ozo. Ozo showed himself as a sweet boy, handsome, cute, very fine, and so brainy. Ebuka said he went for Ozo's birthday, and 90% of the people that were there were like women. And 60% of them were married. And the kind of gift Ozo was getting. And I mean, look at Pere. Pere has this old Pere, Pere wife. I mean, come to Pere. Like, sell yourself, man, and just pray that the Lord plays in your favor. It's what I feel. Yeah, but what do you guys think? Please talk to me in the comment section, my darling. Okay, the big brother tag. People not giving them credit for like their own work. You get me? Hmm. Prince talked about people saying if they want to do a serious movie, they will not call a big brother housemate. And it's true, even the music industry kind of feels like it's very tough for us to accept a musician who goes into the house. I think I think one person who is defying that is Lee Kong. I also think for movies, Toby has tried, man. Toby has been pushing himself self he's been doing like cinema movies this big brother tag man it's a good thing if you ask me man are you joking like he went into the house and they have like at last last they're all getting favors it's like steps ahead of he did not go into the house now let's talk about the huge one what are they working on these guys are doing so well listen to breakdown toby's like see he has two major movies coming up i'm going to do him free promo you get me gang of lagos brotherhood and it was just casted into this um smart money women woman series so big ups toby Ozo is doing big in the sporting industry are you guys joking he has a management company that also does commercial he has been promoted as the calf general coordinator which is massive and he's about to do his fifa masters course next year hey Lajo, 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 Prince, on the other hand, you know, he has his hairline well, and he wants us on to know that it is not only for guys, also for ladies. But the sweet thing about this is hair uh, salon thing is that he's partnering with a Turkish company to expand to hair transplant. Are you guys joking? Prince has done movies, he has done cinema movie, he has done Netflix original, he's working on a Netflix original series as well has a show on mtv base Ella wants to drop ep for us so coming very soon is collaborating with nollywood actors and instagram celebrities very soon and also he's going to be working on his first feature film next year now leo okay see he's pushing his private equity firm here yeah? and he actually got a deal to spread money across africa leo's company though, does not deal with any deal less than 10 million dollars guys but let me allow leo talk yeah listen to leo i beg my company does not facilitate investment lower than 10 million dollars hmm. what's <laughs> the commission how many percent let's not talk about that <laughs> <laughs> we don't have an a-rated bank in nigeria and if i'm bringing money into the country i have to take 99 percent of the risk because people are like it's you we trust we don't know this company we don't care about them you, you know every 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 nigerian bank has this partner bank abroad that yeah. they use. Yeah. That is why they have that partner bank abroad because they are not recognized. Uh-uh, no huge, some huge thing, man. Fraud is a chaser, man. Fraud import hairs, the general merchandiser. Now, Ibuka also gave us his own talk. Ibuka says, see, at this point in time, a lot of his goals that he set for himself, he has surpassed them. And right now, his eyes are up, man. But I think in general, yeah, it was a good interview. And when he asked if they would want to come for, like, the all... Um, like all stars season, everyone rose their hands up except Leo and you know Ozo. Leo is actually engaged. He was like, if he was not engaged, he would most likely have gone. But now he's engaged. So I mean, he doesn't want to holler big. 
also it's like man he's gotten what he wants to get like what does he want to go and do again in the house i beg joy he's going to chill but the other guys were like yeah i am there Lake could not stay for all through i think normally Lake does not drink alcohol yet yeah. maybe that's why he was really talky and chatty a lot but in between the second part he had to leave i had so much fun watching this as in this one you will laugh a lot they were so funny you will see why toby stayed long he was throwing jabs at people anyhow it was a good good interview what do you think guys please talk to me in the comment section my darling like i always say i'll put a link to the main um, interview down below if you want to watch the full two hour you know interview if you want to see my face you know the drill already i have a vlog channel called talk to your homie vlog and really i post new vlogs every week i'll put a link to my latest vlog you know me now um, i like to work and play i like to work and enjoy my life oh, don't joke with me you get me so yeah i have a um, a vlog about me just chilling meeting new friends in abuja really and having fun i'll put a link to that video down below go click it and watch it i also have a channel called pennywise I mean, pennywise we talk about how to live successfully in today's day and age times are scary let me tell you how i'm able to live without being afraid and even still succeed now in this time that you can hear all the bad news everywhere please check out my channel pennywise i'll do you a favor i'll put one the link to one video from pennywise down below go down click it and watch it you mean so much to me y'all know i love you with all my heart thank you for watching my video